In this video, I will explain exactly what is homestead exemption, how you can qualify for it, and where to go exactly to fill it out in the county of Travis and Williamson. What's going on guys? My name is Mershad Afshar with EXP Realty and Austin City Brothers. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing as we do drop weekly videos to inform you about the best of Austin real estate. All right, what is exactly a homestead exemption? Two things I want you guys to remember. Number one, as it sounds, it's an exemption on the portion of your taxes. And then also the second thing, it's a cap on how much the county can raise your taxes year over. And now who exactly qualifies for this kind of exemption? You can only qualify if you are the primary resident of that property and you live there for the majority of the year. You cannot do this for your investment property, only your primary residence. Let's talk about what it is exactly. And I'm going to use a example to make it all simple for you. Let's say you own a property that is worth $400,000. And depending on where you live, which county and what school district, there is a $50,000 exemption for the homeowners of that location. That means you will be only taxed for $350,000 on that property. Let's say if your uh, tax rate is 2%, you should be only expecting to pay $7,000 for that year. Now, the second factor is how much they can raise it year over year. Let's say that same exact property appreciated with $100,000. The cap as of right now is 10%, meaning they can only tax you all the way up to $440,000 for that year. It will not reappraise your property up to $500,000. And you may know this, the market value is always different than the assessed value by the county. So that's a really nice rule that we have here in Texas that will limit the county on how much they can tax you year after. Now, let's hop onto my computer. I'm going to show you exactly how to fill these forms out, whether you live in the county of Travis or Williams. All right, folks, let's start with Williamson County. Uh, if you are planning to buy in Travis County, you can skip over to the next section. But uh, since we do majority of our business in Williamson County, I decided to do this one first. Let's go for it. So you want to go to your uh, Google tab and search in Williamson County Homestead Exemption. As soon as you do that, it will uh, populate this first option, online exemption information. And as you go there, um, there is a instruction right here in this uh, green letters. To get started, simply locate your property via property search box at the top of this page and then click HS exemption. So what you want to do, you want to scroll up to this search bar and look for your property address. I'm just going to use a random number, uh, 123 Main Street. Hopefully it will give me something that I can actually just try. Well, let's just use this property as an example. As soon as you land here, there is a option that's on this uh, top of this page. It says HS exemption. You want to click on that. And as soon as you click on that, it should, um, so it brings you to this uh, page that will give you some of the information about the homestead exemption. The big one is, uh, which you do really want to do this as soon as you close, is to update your address on your driver's license. It usually you require to get a new driver's license with your new address on it. So that's a major one. And then it just kind of walks you through some of the information that you need to know generally about homestead exemption and specifically the fact that you only need to apply once, not more than once. It's not a yearly thing. And 
over here right now, it shows that the processing time is about six to eight weeks. So I'm going to go here, uh, click on that to get started, and it will populate this form, which will most likely have a lot of your information already populated, uh, but you want to go ahead and fill it over here online. And as you do that, uh, all the blue boxes needs to be filed and then on the bottom it will ask you for email signature you can submit and sign it um, uh, something to note if you're a if you're over 65 and if you are uh, a, a fully 100 percent disabled veteran or a disabled person the exemption laws will be different than if you are do not if you do not fall in any of those categories so please keep that in mind. You want to hit submit and sign, and then you are good to go. Now let's jump over to the Travis County version. All right, now let's go for Travis County. So same thing as the last one, you want to just go ahead and type in Google Travis County Homestead Exemption. It will bring you to this page, Homestead Exemption for Travis County. You click on that, it brings you to this main page, and um, as you scroll down under to apply, you can also mail it, print the form, and do that, but online is definitely a lot easier, and as you can see, it says it will take about 90 days. So you hit that online button. And it will generally will ask you to create an account. I've already created an account. It's going to be very easy. You just put your uh, name, email, and it will send you an email. And you can just go ahead and create a password over there. And then you come to this dashboard. Uh, as you can see, I already started a template, but it's uh, pretty easy. You just go start a new application. Very self-explanatory. You will answer some general question about yourself and about your property. And by the time you start filling these out, again, you will need a driver's license with your new property address on it so that you're able to claim it as your primary resident. You follow those uploads and you hit submit and you will wait until 90 days to get your answer back. So that's it. Easy peasy, very self-explanatory. Now let's go right back to the studio. Well, that was it all about the homestead exemption in the state of Texas, specifically County of Travis and Williamson. If you've got some value out of this video, please consider liking it and sharing it with the people that you care. And also, if you have any other questions or any other real estate needs, here's our contact information. We're here to help you and your family.